Hi everyone, it's Gretchen from Possum Fun and Frugal. I'm back. Um, just a little update um, that I wasn't able to work with that other attorney that I mentioned in the previous video. Um, she wasn't really uh, skilled in the mobile home laws and she didn't really know or really understand the situation it seemed like. Um, so she backed out. I went back to uh, the Mobile Home Commission, um, they had another meeting, so I joined that meeting, and um, they worked with me or talked to me about things that they possibly could do at the county level. A couple people in the county are going to work on seeing what they can do to help the situation. Um, and uh, as of today, actually just a few minutes ago, I got a couple of um, emails that look sort of promising. Um, one regarding another attorney I may be able to talk to, and the other about the attorney I had talked to before who may uh, be working with the county to figure out what they can do. So things are still People are still trying to help any way they can, and that's wonderful. Um, let's just hope that it, that momentum keeps going and maybe we get a resolution. I'm still waiting to hear back about the questions to my park owner. And, um, yeah, that's about it for the mobile home selling update. I am trying to keep my head up. Um, all the support and encouragement and kind feedback I've gotten on my channel here and from the other people um, that are helping me. That's what's keeping me going. I appreciate all of you that have been coming on and watching my videos and commenting with very positive, supportive, kind comments. I just want to point out that I don't appreciate the ones coming on here to give me very harsh opinions about their opinion of one person in particular decided to go on a rant about how I um, I made a huge mistake buying a mobile home and I should have bought a house and she won this whole thing and then she wanted me to tell me um, she didn't really want to watch the video she just wanted me to tell tell her what's happening with my mobile home. So I let her know that I have carpal tunnel, which is one of my disabilities that makes typing very difficult. And if she could go watch the videos or read the other comments, she would get filled in on what's happening without me having to repeat myself. I tried to be nice about it a couple of times and she kept arguing and coming back and being snarky and repeating herself, um, I finally asked her to stop commenting on my channel and please leave if she doesn't like doesn't like that. She decided to come back and come at me again, being very rude and disrespectful, and so I. She wanted to tell me that I'm making mistakes again, so I told her, well, you made a mistake by harassing me on my channel. So you've been reported and blocked now. So I said that right before I went and reported her and blocked her. So for anybody else that wants to be um, hard on me, about my choices. I know my choices. I'm a 58 year old woman. I know what choices I made. And I know that in hindsight, yes, buying a mobile home was not a good choice. But as a person on a fixed income with a tiny budget, I had no other choice. In order to become a homeowner in my 
late 40s with um, a limited income, the only option I had, I could continue renting, renting at high, high prices, and we know now they're even higher, or I could have bought a mobile home. I had the opportunity. Someone in my family was willing to loan me the money for the mobile home. So I took them up on it. I bought the mobile home. It was good until it wasn't. Um, yes, in hindsight, did I know them what was going to happen now? No. Did I know in 2012 what was going to happen in 2018 when I tried to sell the first time? Or 20, uh, 20, 24 now? Um, sorry, just ate some walnuts. <laughs> um, no, I didn't know. I wouldn't know all that stuff. We don't know what we know until we know it. So anyway, um, back to those of you who have been supportive, thank you very much. I am staying encouraged and motivated by all of you. And I hope that I have some better news and better updates soon. I just think it's important that now that I do know what I know, that I share it with other people. Not just to get my story out there. Um, but to help other people um, and one for them to see that they're not alone um, maybe my story can help another person not make the same choice that I did or um, help someone know how to handle it better than I knew how to handle it um, at this point it's out of my hands pretty much except for um, one of these attorneys taking it on. Uh, so I will get back to you and update you again soon, I hope. And hopefully it's positive news. And uh, I've been putting up some new videos like I mentioned in my last video that I wanted to get back to my regular YouTube videos. They don't get nearly as much attention as these drama videos, but that's okay. I'm not a drama person, um, but I want to share more about my animals and the foods that I make with the free food hauls from the food bank. Um, I like showing how I can eat very healthy and mostly organic on little or no money. Um, I'm not ashamed. I have food stamps. They only give me $23 now. That doesn't get me far. <clears throat> so I frequent the food banks, a couple of them, to gather up the things I can eat because I can't accept everything that's at the food bank. Some things I just can't eat because I have special um, diet needs. Um, so I kind of go around and collect what I can where I can. And then I have the $23 for the things I really need that I have to buy. And then I spend a little bit of money every month now for things that I didn't get in either other scenario, either with my food stamps or the food bank. So things are tough, uh, but I'm. That's why I'm call my channel Possum Fun and Frugal. I have possum pups, and I try to have fun with the things I do. And I do some van life, part time van life stuff, where I share how I do traveling and camping in my van on uh, on a tight budget, and with chronic pain and disabilities. So check out my videos. Um, some of them are not, I'm not the greatest videographer and I don't have the money to like pay to learn because everything you know costs money. Um, a lot of these YouTubers will charge you money to teach you how to be a good YouTuber, better YouTuber. I, that's how broke I am. I cannot. That's not a priority. 
So I'm grateful to those of you who would be willing to go and check out my other videos and give me some thumbs up and comments. And I will be back with the next update about the mobile home.